Today we're going to show you how to change the water inlet valve on your dishwasher. And it's a pretty easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a number two square head or a number two Phillips screwdriver, a pair of slip joint pliers, and probably an adjustable wrench. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, we will need to turn off the water supply to the dishwasher, and we'll also need to disconnect the power supply. So find the breaker or the fuse panel and disconnect the power at that point and shut down the water supply. Now next we will need to remove the access panel at the front to gain access to the valve. So there's two quarter inch hex head screws that we'll need to remove. Now once we have the access panel removed, you will note that there are two holes in this sub panel that will allow you access to the two screws that mount the water valve to the frame. And they're a little difficult to get at unless you have the proper length of screwdriver. So typically what you would have to do is remove that panel that's held in place with two screws, one in each upper corner. And they are a Phillips number two or a square head number two. So you need a stubby screwdriver to remove those. Now we've taken the liberty of tilting this dishwasher back to give you a better view of what you will see So we'll go ahead and remove these two screws. Then we can just tilt that panel out and lift it down out of the way. Now with that access panel removed, you will note where the two mounting screws are for the water valve bracket. But before we remove those screws and the valve, we'll want to disconnect the water line to the fitting. And then we'll also take that fitting out of the valve and we'll save that fitting for use on the new valves. We'll just set that aside. Next, we can remove two mounting screws, either with a number two Phillips or a number two square head. And we'll just let that valve drop down, pull it out far enough that we can disconnect the wire harness. and also access the outlet hose. It's held in place with a spring clamp. So we'll compress that clamp with our pliers. Just slide that back on the hose. Then while gripping the hose and the valve, we'll give that a little twist to loosen it and pull it off the valve. And there may be a little water come out of that outlet tube. And now we're ready to put the new valve in place. Once we've cleaned the old tape off of the threads, we'll install some new Teflon tape on that fitting. Now it's ready to put on the valve. Now to install the new valve, we're first of all going to put the outlet tube on it. We'll try not to get any twists in that hose. So make sure it's fully seated onto the valve. And then we'll position the clamp. We can reconnect the wire harness. And before we mount the valve up into place, the new mounting bracket just has drilled holes in it, so we'll want to start the screws in it first just to cut some new threads in it. Just turn them in a couple of turns. And then remove them. Poke the center portion of that valve into the slot. We'll slide it all the way up. And then put the screws in place. And we'll tighten those screws. Make sure they're good and tight. Now we'll reinstall the fitting.
Now you may find that this job is a little bit tight to do with the dishwasher in place under the cabinets. And if that's the case, you could elect to pull the dishwasher completely out of the cabinets and then lay it on its back or on its side in a suitable location and then do the repair. Now we'll want to make sure that we have this fitting in the same position that it was on the old valve. And then we can reconnect our water supply to it and turn on the water supply before you put the panels back on this just to make sure that we don't have any leaks. Next install the recessed panel at the back. And again we'll need a stubby screwdriver to put those screws back in. Now we're ready to reinstall the access panel. And our repair is complete.